Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Elder Dillard. I thank the Lord for you all taking the time out to share with me during this Bible study time. I'm going to go ahead and start singing the song. Let's just praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's just live our hands towards heaven and praise the Lord. Let's just praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's just live our hands towards heaven and praise the Lord. Let's just thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Let's just live our hands towards heaven and thank the Lord. Let's just thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Let's just live our hands towards heaven and thank the Lord. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you for giving us this day our daily prayer. Lord, right now, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. I ask that you please touch him, Lord, in my way. Lord, we ask for favor, wisdom, increase, wholeness, and boldness. Lord, please forgive us for our sin, the things that we've done knowingly and the things that we've done unknowingly. Lord, please help us to take one step closer to you, just a closer walk with you each day. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. I will be coming from Ezekiel, the 35th chapter. Ezekiel, the 35th chapter. Judgment on Mount Seir. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and say to it, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against you. I will stretch out my hand against you and make you most desolate. I shall lay your city waste. I shall lay your city waste. And you shall be desolate. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. God is telling Ezekiel to prophesy and to say what Thus says the Lord. When God tells his prophet, when God tells his leader what to say to the people, we must say what God says for us to say. No matter how many people may look at us, and it's, it's called, um, may cut their eyes at us, or may give us dirty looks, we must do what God tells us to do. See, whatever happened to uh, Jesus, it happened to him before it happened to the prophet. So, if people reject Jesus, they reject us. And if they reject us, they reject God, they reject Jesus. Verse 5, because you have had an ancient hatred. So this hatred goes back, way back. And you shed, you have, and have shed the blood of the children of Israel by the power of the sword at the time of their calamity. When their iniquity came to an end, therefore as I live, says the Lord God, I will prepare you for blood, and blood shall pursue you, since you have not hated blood, therefore blood shall pursue you. The people were bloodlust. They had a bloodlust. Thus I will make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it the one who leaves and the one who returns. And I will fill its mountain with the slain on your hills and in your valleys 
and in your ravines. Those who are slain by the sword shall fall. I will make you perpetually desolate, like a ruin, a place of ruins. And your cities shall be uninhabited. Nobody lives there. No one lives there. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. God knows how to do it where there's no shadow of a doubt who did it. Because you have said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine and we will possess them. Although the Lord was there, therefore as I live, says the Lord God. I will do according to your anger and according to the envy which you showed in your hatred against them. Vengeance is mine, thus says the Lord. Envying is wanting something that someone else has. We don't want what we sow. We don't want to sow. We sow hatred or envy. We don't want to reap whatever we sow. If We don't want anything to be sinful or something to be evil. We want everything that we sow to be in good ground and with a pure motive. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. I have heard all your blasphemies, which you have spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying they are desolate. That's why when something happens to someone, we should not glorify or, or rejoice when someone falls. It's like um, there was a song, na 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 hey 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 goodbye. We should not glorify when someone falls. They are desolate. They are given to us to consume. Thus with your mouth you have boasted against me and multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus says the Lord God, the whole earth will rejoice when I make you desolate as you rejoice because the inheritance of the house of Israel was desolate so I will do to you you shall be desolate O Mount Seir as well at all of Edom all of it then they shall know that I am the Lord May God bless the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy word. And speaking of Mount Seir, Mount Seir is referring to Edom. And the descendants of Edom were Esau. We have, um, and so, even though one child may be favored over the other one God blesses both praise the Lord everything that God allows is is blessed praise the Lord so if we have a child and even though let, let's say let but we know that Rebecca and Esau came together to trick dim-eyed Isaac so that Jacob can be blessed instead of Esau. You see, God knows how to level the playing field. So going back to Ezekiel, the 35th chapter. Mount Seir, Edom's, C, 
sin was great. And I took some notes, because one of the words that was used in the commentary was odious. And that means extremely unpleasant, repulsive, because of sin God allowed the people to stew in their own beat. And some background information when I was reading the latter part of the 26th chapter in Genesis, it's talked about Esau married a woman who serves many gods. And why is that significant? Because his parents wanted him to to marry someone that reverenced God. But he did contrary to what his parents wanted to do. Are we walking contrary to God right now? And, um, see, when God does something, God does something justly. I have shown the old man what is good and what does the Lord require of you to do justly, love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God, with your God. How are we doing that on today? So God allowed the people to stew in their own beef. And the agent of heat, like it's hot right now during the summertime, heat is good when preparing food. It um, heats up and it cooks the impurities in the food. But if we overcook something, it can burn. And I remember um, if we overcook meat, it can, uh, but any meat, if you, if you cook something, you overcook it, it's not going to taste good. All of the flavor is going to be, uh, taken out of it. If you cook it to a certain point, the flavor will be in it. When God is chastising us. It's like he's pulling us up by our pants and he is he has us and he's dealing with us but then he puts us on the right path to travel it is up to us to go in the right direction that's a loving father isn't it I have in my notes, God knows how to whip us into shape and put us on the right path if we let him work on us. We must repent and receive God in our hearts. Once we change our attitude, our behavior will follow. As I close out, I just want to thank the Lord for being so good to us. Now, if there's someone out there that's heard this message and is blessed by it, I thank the Lord that he is speaking to you to, um, to love him and not put anything before him. So here's your opportunity to come to him come to him just now come to him knowing that he can deliver save try him there's a song say try jesus he's all right try jesus he's all right i have tried him he's all right we try him by repenting asking for forgiveness and coming to him and he can make the difference we repent, we ask for forgiveness, we believe that Jesus came, lived and died, and God raised him from the dead, and that's what saves us. The Holy Spirit comes in and lets us know when we are doing wrong and walking contrary, and we pick up our crosses and follow him daily, follow Jesus daily, 
was Jesus, the Word of God, who came in the flesh, who overcame everything so that we can be overcomers, more than conquerors through Him that loved us. Let us pray. Lord, we just thank you right now for those who have heard your beckoning call and have come to you and believe that you can save, you can make right what was wrong. And Lord, we give you the praise, honor and glory in Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Now to the benediction, now unto him who is able to keep you from stumbling, and to present you faultless before his presence with exceeding joy, the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and ever, and everyone said, Amen, Amen, and Amen.